Alright, welcome back everyone. It's Noha here. And in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide. And in this one, I'll be showing you guys how to get the Doll Legendary Submachine Gun, the Boomer. So the red text for this weapon says, some, some like it hot. Plus 21% critical hit damage, plus 21% weapon fire rate, plus 75% splash damage radius, and the bullets are laced with hot sauce. Damage is 493, accuracy 73%, handling is 68%, reload time is 1.9 seconds, fire rate is 11.24 seconds with a 19 magazine size. You can get this weapon in no element or fire element. Uh, those are the only two elements you can get, non-element and fire. And uh, like the text says there at the bottom, the bullets are laced for hot sauce. You're going to see once we do get to the gameplay that uh, I, I'm guessing this is a reference to like the Torg uh hot sauce things you have to find and they explode i'm guessing that's what the bullets are laced with so in order to get this weapon you're going to, want to fast travel to the compactor right here and you're just going to follow where i go we're going to be killing scrap trap prime he is a boss you fight whenever you're playing through the main quest of the story of this dlc he's very easy to get to and if you play through the story of this uh dlc you should have ran into him and know pretty much where he is but i'm going to show you anyway you just want to go right up here and you're going to drop down into this hole and you're gonna start the fight. Now first you're gonna have to kill the miniature little uh, scrap traps that spawn or whatever they're called. The clap the little ones. You have to keep killing them until you get that yellow health bar all the way down. And then once you get it all the way down, scrap trap prime will spawn. And then you will be able to fight him and uh kill him and see if you get the weapon. You will be competing with the lucky seven pistol. In order to get this, he drops that and this boomer, and he might drop one more thing. I cannot exactly remember. But I didn't get it on the first kill, but here I'm cutting to a clip. He sees a lot bigger. Scrap Trap Prime right there. Kill him, and as you can see right there, I got the boomer to drop. This is only like my second kill of Scrap Trap Prime, so it was, pr it was pretty easy. Pretty easy to get it here. It was a pretty easy farm. But here it is right here, the boomer. And I want to be completely honest, whenever I first saw the name of this gun, I thought it was going to be some reference to, like, Boomers. So, yeah, that ended up not being the case. I'm guessing it's called the Boomer because it explodes on every single shot. As you're going to see right here, uh, at each shot that you hit with the weapon, this is on Mayhem 4, by the way, uh, it explodes and it creates a little... So you're going to get the bullet hit on the damage, and then you're going to get some uh, splash damage as well. Now... When this weapon goes up against armor, it doesn't do too well. See, you can't get any other elements with this weapon other than fire. Whenever it, whenever it goes up against like the red health bar, you're going to see some in, some of the bigger enemies I have problems with with this weapon. Some of the smaller enemies, they're not that big of a deal. But you're going to see when I fight some of the bigger enemies here in just a minute with this gun, some of the ones that have like more armor, more health, this weapon kind of struggles against those. It doesn't do as well. Another thing that's kind of annoying, at least for me, is that it only has 19 bullets in a mag, so you are having to reload a lot. But good thing is the reload speed is really quick. You really, uh, once you, it, the magazine size may be low, but you do get a really quick reload, so you're able to just start right back shooting. But it, it's always kind of annoying to me whenever I am almost have something killed and then I have to reload really quick before I can finish killing it. But, yeah, like I said... Uh, whenever we get up against these bigger enemies, I should uh, I think they're right around here in this next little area And I'll show you guys that this weapon doesn't really do good against those like I was kind of struggling Against the more bigger enemies with this weapon So I I would say if you have a build that makes this weapon work Then I, I definitely could see it being good like this is not a bad weapon by any means It's just like I don't know if it's built for mayhem 4 at least for like bigger enemies like whenever I went to go fight some of these bigger enemies with like bigger health bars and stuff, it kind of struggled against their armor and against their uh, health and everything. It took a lot of magazines to be able to take them down. So if you have a build that maybe works with the weapon, then I could definitely recommend it. But I'm going to go ahead and safely assume that this weapon isn't exactly, this is one of those weapons that isn't exactly built for Mayhem 4. But uh, I'm, I have tried it out in Mayhem 3 a little bit, and it did perform pretty good in there. So I, I could definitely uh, see this weapon being good in like Mayhem 3 and lower. But in Mayhem 4, I just don't know. Maybe if you have a build that goes with it really good. But, you know, like I said, uh, it's just it really struggles against that really 
the really big health bars here in Mayhem 4 sometimes against some enemies. But that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.